I've been here before in the, the sense that at the Diamonds level, um, people always told me you'd, you'd know and I always was searching for that with Diamonds but I knew what it felt like once that retirement did come around and uh, for me I had that feeling all over again in pre-season and um, knew that I had done the work to, to make the transition a little bit easier for myself so it was a pretty easy decision um, in the end as to um, yeah, that this would be my last year and I've just done so much within this club but also with the Swifts, um, you know, a few years ago um, transitioning over to a new club was something that um, I guess I'm really proud of and uh, to be able to create something from scratch is something that I'm really proud of and I just knew that that was, um, yeah, it was time to to hang up the netty shoes, as they say. Oh, look, I think in some ways it's a really sad day for Giants netball, but it's a happy day in some ways for Kim as well. Um, if I can use a quote that Liz Ellis gave me, it's really nice when you're not retiring from something, but you're retiring to something. And there's no doubt in the world that Kim has had a wonderful career and been such an important part of setting up Giants netball and all that it stands for. But she's moving on to great things and her future is well and truly planned. As a young 16 year old, um, you come through the pathways and Netball New South Wales have been such a, a huge supporter of mine. Carolyn Campbell has been essentially my CEO the whole time um, for a few years. Um, but yeah, she's been a great support to me. Mike Anderson, who's our general manager of Giants, also has been a huge supporter of mine. And um, yeah, to, to, I guess, work for one organisation for 17 years is something pretty special. Um, I'll be hitting him up for long service leave um, at some stage. And um, yeah, but I've just really enjoyed the, the journey with Netball New South Wales. And I'm really proud of the fact that I've played under one organisation. I think she leaves a legacy to netball in New South Wales, Australia and Giants, but there's no doubt in the world that when we were asked to form this team and we knew there was going to be a new team in New South Wales, I very much wanted Kim to be a part of that. I knew that she would establish the leadership and the culture that we really wanted this team to represent. And that's a legacy that having had three years to form, we'll be able to grow and build on for the future. To the girls that are just phenomenal, they, um, it's, it's cool, you don't often get the opportunity to have 10 people that you rock up with every day and have the same vision and the same, um, I guess, push and want for the same thing. And we're really lucky to be able to form a great culture within the Giants. Uh, Julie Fitzgerald for seeing whatever she saw in me when I was 16, um, but also backing me throughout my, my career. And I think it's really fitting that I finished my career with her. Um, uh, Simone Freeman, as I've mentioned before, um, got me back from a season ending injury where I think most people had ridden me off and said that was it. I was probably too old to come back from an injury like that, but um, she traveled over to LA with me um, when I was over there for business. She. Um, you know, goes over and above to make sure that all of our players are ready to go. And um, yeah, I can't thank her enough. But yeah, just my, my family and my friends and um, the fans and members that come out each week, I think, um, you know, for my families and family and friends, they're the ones that sacrifice the most. And um, I just can't wait to, to spend time with them and enjoy life. I hope she comes back and helps the Giants out in lots of different ways and she obviously has great business opportunities ahead of her and a lot of that will involve coaching and I hope she comes back and helps us on that scene as well.